Welcome to meditation. I am Rebecca and I have behind me the big blue sky and the vast blue ocean. So I am I am looking for some calm today. And so I put on put on a blue shirt and a blue background because blue is calming. Why is blue calming? I don't really know the answer. Times of India describes blue this way. Peaceful, calm, and gentle. Blue has tremendous power to manage stress. It's a very soothing color that helps calm your mind, slow down your heart rate, lower your blood pressure, and reduce anxiety. And blue is believed to have a cooling effect. Rabbi Elizabeth Richman of Jews United for Justice has this to say. Perhaps thinking of the blue of the ocean and the sky can serve as a reminder to care for the earth and make choices that lead to sustainable development. Perhaps remembering those who inhabit the expanse of land between ocean and sky and recalling our communal story should remind us of our obligation to build a world that honors the dignity and equality of all people. In yoga philosophy, we learn that we are a drop in the ocean and the entire ocean in a drop. Rabbi Rami Shapiro talks about the song of the wave, awakening to the ocean, seeing that the, the wave is the ocean and the ocean the wave, recognizing the interdependence of all things and discovering the awesome wonder that is our reality. <clears throat> so, blue. Take a moment to find your meditative posture, whether that's sitting up tall and feeling well supported, maybe your feet on the ground, or maybe sitting cross-legged on a cushion, maybe you're lying down with the opportunity to elongate your spine. Take a moment to feel your connections to the earth beneath us, our blue planet, feeling the security, the support of having our beautiful planet beneath you. With each exhale, sink uh, just a little bit more deeply into, <coughs> pardon me, into that feeling of support, comfort. With each inhale, Sit a little taller or extend your spine, reaching the crown of your head away from your tailbone. Exhaling to ground, feeling the depth of the earth beneath you. Inhaling to expand and open into the vastness, into the big blue sky. Breathing between earth and ocean and sky. We are the conduits. The energy flows through us from deep into the earth to out into the universe. So let's stay here with just a few breaths. Beginning to feel the sensation of breath in our bodies. Noticing maybe for the first time today ah, that the body breathes without any input from us. But we can change the breath and by changing the breath, we can change our physical and our psycho-emotional states. So we practice. 
using the sensation of breath as the anchor, as our sacred center, the place we come back to again and again. So staying with breath as it moves gently, evenly, comfortably through the body. As you inhale, elongate, open, expand. As you exhale, release, ground, find support beneath you. Five breaths right here. And now begin to imagine the crown of your head. The crown is our place of connection to the vastness. Some people call it divinity. For others, it's our connection to the great mysteries, to the universe. However that interprets for you, imagine the crown of your head as opening up into the vastness of the big blue sky. Feel that expansion, that openness, that infinite space. With each inhale, it grows bigger, brighter, more expansive. As you exhale, don't forget your connection to the ground. As thoughts intrude, just notice and imagine them like puffy white clouds that keep moving across the sky and disappear. Stay with this blue sky meditation for about eight or 10 minutes and then come back together.
thoughts, worries, concerns intrude. Just acknowledge, recognize, and send them floating away like clouds in the sky. Coming back to breath and the big blue sky. to bring your awareness to your low belly. Maybe you place your hands there, drawing the breath down to the low belly, to the seat of our creative power, our seat of creativity. Breathing in and out of that place. Feel your hands rise or expand with each inhale. And fall with each exhale. On your next inhale, breathe deeply into the low belly. And then allow the breath to rise up to the heart. Maybe you place one hand on your heart and one hand on your low belly, feeling the breath move between these places. Our creative energy and our compassion. Inhaling down to creativity. Let the breath rise up to your heart. As you exhale, release 
from the heart all the way out. Feeling comfort in the body. Comfort in our ability to create that be compassionate. Stay with this breath. to bring the breath right into the heart space, expanding the heart with each inhale. As you exhale, release that heart energy out, expanding compassion for self. us to our throat chakra. This is the seat of our personal expression, speaking the truth, standing up for ourselves, for what we believe in. Bring your energy to the throat. gentle breeze, a bright flower. 
cloudless blue sky. Breath flows in and the breath flows out. Stay with this gentle breath. to deepen your breath. Bringing small movements into fingers and toes. Allow the breath to flow through the body. From your toes, up your legs, from your fingertips, up your arms to the center of the body and all the way up to the crown of the head. Once again, breathing between earth and sky. Gentle breath. If you're lying down, roll to one side. Press yourself up, coming up to sitting, maybe sitting a little bit taller. We'll seal, <coughs> pardon me, we'll seal this practice with three chants of Aum. One for our creativity, one for our compassion and one for our ability to speak the truth. If you'd like to join, bringing hands to heart center, we'll inhale together. Oh. Shanti, peace, peace, 
feats. Jai Bhagwan, may the light in all of us be victorious. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and with each other.